Tamata Peak dominates the Hawke's Bay skyline and offers the finest views of the region. From its summit, popular with locals and tourists, the full extent of the Hedetaunga Plains is revealed, and beyond them the Kaimanawa Ranges. The curving sweep of Hawke's Bay is also clearly visible from here, as well as the bay's twin cities Hastings and Napier. Tamata Peak is the high point of a limestone ridge known as the Kohinurako Range that has been thrust up through geological movement. The village of Havelock North spreads out across the range on its gently sloping western flanks. By contrast, the eastern side is characterised by spectacular cliffs that rear up above the Tukituki Valley. Europeans who settled the area used to refer to Tamata Peak as the giant, as the peak appears extremely large when viewed from the plains. Māori, who settled hundreds of years before, also have a story involving a giant warrior, Te Mata o Rongokako, to explain how the peak was created. According to the local Māori tribe, Ngāti Kahungunu, Te Mata Peak has its origins when Māori living on the Hiritaonga Plains gathered at Pakipaki to discuss the threat posed by a warlike group living on the coast, led by the giant Te Mata o Rongokako. But rather than confront Rongokako head-on, the plain dwellers decided to try and deflect his aggression by using more subtle means. They followed the advice of one of their kuya, or wise old woman, who remarked, Heya na te wahine, ko horohia te po. The ways of a woman sometimes overcome the effects of darkness. To this end, the beautiful daughter of a leading chief encouraged the interest of the giant Te Mata o Rongokako. He was enticed and eager, but she told him he must first complete a series of tasks to win her love. The giant successfully completed the tasks until only one great challenge remained. He had to eat his way through the range of hills that stood between his coastal home and the Hedetaonga Plains. Rongokako undertook this task with great gusto, motivated by the prospect of consummating his desire with the beautiful young woman. Taking one great final bite, Rongokako broke off even too much for him to chew then choked and died. The rugged Kohinurako range of which Temata Peak is the highest point is said to be his dead body. The distinctive gap above Havelock North, known as Parikarangaranga, marks his final bite of the hills. Seen from the Hedetaonga Plains, the range resembles a man lying on his back. Today Hawke's Bay is peaceful and prosperous with its fertile alluvial plains supporting numerous market gardens, orchards and vineyards. In recent decades, Hawke's Bay has become well known for producing outstanding wines thanks to its free-draining stony soils, long hot summers and mild autumns culminating in ideal conditions for the ripening of grapes. Vineyards were first established in the Hawke's Bay at Taradale near Napier. Early in the 20th century, viticulture at Taradale expanded to include other vineyards. Around this time, vines were planted on the lower slopes of the Kohinurako range near Havelock North, Today, these vineyards produce some of the country's finest Bordeaux-style reds. The region also produces a range of white wines and is renowned for its Chardonnay. In recent years, substantial new wineries have developed near Havelock North, including the extensive Craggy Range Vineyard, which sits on a river terrace in the Tukituki Valley, below Tamata Peak.